VV, the mind-body problem is one of the most powerful issues in Western intellectual thought. Philosophers, theologians, everybody deals with it. In Hinduism, how does the mind-body problem work? Yes, in, in the Western tradition, as we know, with uh, Descartes first formulated this explicitly as res cogitans and res extensa idea. In the Hindu tradition, it's been for a long time, this no, whole notion of purusha as an experiencer and prakriti as the experienced is a very powerful idea. And uh, the idea being that every conscious entity becomes aware of nature, of physical nature. But another interpretation which I give is the following. The conscious entity, the Jivatman, has two functions. One is to understand and interpret prakriti or nature. And that is what constitutes science. Hmm. The conscious entity trying to make meaning out of it. The other function of the Jivatman is to find out about itself, how hmm. it came from the Paramatman or what one would call the spiritual quest. So every human being is engaged, ideally, in both science and in religion. Science being the effort to understand Prakriti, and religion being a rediscovery of that from which we came. In Western science, science is used to analyze consciousness. And that would correspond to the Purusha or the Jivatman trying to understand its own nature and whether that effort to understand its own nature leads to the conclusion that it is part of Prakriti yeah. or whether it leads to a discovery of the Paramatman is of course a matter that is left to the Jivatman. And that is precisely why we have both kinds of conclusions. In other words, one recognizing that it is part of something grander, and another that it is uh, only another aspect of Prakriti. <laughs> and in a funny kind of way, quantum mechanics essentially gives us the dimension in which this separation between the observer and the observed kind of dissolves. And in classical physics, they are distinct. So all these possibilities are there. In Hinduism, then, are both functions allowed? Using science to analyze consciousness, to see how it relates to our physical bodies and brains, and possibly seeing consciousness as an expression of some supernatural phenomena. Not in traditional Hinduism. In traditional Hinduism, there is, one posits that there is the Paramatman and what we do is to rediscover. That is a traditional by which is meant mainstream Hinduism. Mm. Interestingly enough, what is not as universally known is that there have been schools of thought within the Hindu framework which have said exactly the other thing, what modern science says in the sense, all that is only the natural world and anything we call supernatural is simply a concoction of the human mind. Mm -hmm. So this is the atheist school of Hinduism. And that is a, a legitimate school of Hinduism. But then how is it Hinduism? It is a legitimate school in the sense that it is part of Hindu thought. There are numerous writings by this school, which is referred to as the Charvaka school, which say that there is nothing beyond the material world, that there is only matter and energy, and everything about the supernatural is all the concoction of the human mind. Is consciousness then an illusion because it is strictly related to the physical? Yes, it's not so much an illusion as a property uh -huh. of the human brain. And uh, however, this school of thought is Hindu, because you said, how can it be Hinduism? Yes. Because it was promulgated by a thinker in India. Hinduism, unlike many other religions, does not have an authority to say that this is the absolute truth. 
And therefore, even in modern Hinduism, there are many atheists, there are many Hindus who are practicing, who are Hindus by birth, but who reject some of the supernatural principles associated with traditional Hinduism. So in Hinduism, is the subject of consciousness an important subject? Uh, yes, because the entire Upanishads deals a lot with the nature of consciousness. And this is what one calls the spiritual dimension of Hinduism, that consciousness is primary to human existence and all the uh, theories or details about consciousness are discussed in traditional what are called sacred Hindu works.